News, Moscow. Well, let's catch up with the weather right here. And Nina's here. Afternoon. Hi, Louis. Thank you very much. It's been a rather grey, misty, murky start to the day. And certainly compared to yesterday, it is a lot cloudier and cooler out there. And in fact, let's look back 24 hours and the satellite picture picking up a big hole in that cloud. And as a result, temperatures really responded 18 degrees. But underneath that cloud, it was quite chilly and temperatures struggled at around 8 Celsius. But let's move things on 24 hours because what a difference a day makes. The cloud has really rolled in and that 8 degrees much more typical across the country. Now it's not wall-to-wall -wall cloud, there are some breaks out towards southwestern areas. We've got some brighter spells and temperatures here around 13 to 14 degrees. Again, West Wales seeing some brighter spells through the afternoon, as we will do across a good part of Northern Ireland. A little bit breezy here at times and temperatures reaching highs of 11 to 12 degrees. Now another favoured spot for some brightness through the afternoon is Western Scotland, but around the Murray Firth there is some rather foggy conditions, stubborn to clear through the afternoon and temperatures struggling. A lot of cloud across northern England, the Midlands, East Anglia in the southeast corner. And it's grey, we've got some patchy light rain and drizzle through the afternoon and temperatures well down on yesterday's values with highs of just 10 or 11. Now through this evening and overnight tonight, the cloud rolls back in. We'll get some hill fog around again, rather misty with some of that drizzly conditions. As a result, it's going to be a pretty frost-free night. Temperatures slightly lower than last night at dawn, sitting at around 6 to 9 degrees. And with some breaks through northern Scotland, we could see a touch of frost here. So on to tomorrow morning, where it is going to be another overcast start to the day. Yet again, we've got this cloud with us. But a bit like this afternoon, there will be some breaks developing possibly out towards the west, and I'm hopeful through the afternoon a better chance of maybe some breaks developing across southern counties of England. Temperature-wise, similar to today's, we've got highs around about 9 to 13 degrees. So through much of this week, it is going to stay largely cloudy. Not a huge amount of rain. For many, it's going to be dry. But we will start to see this weather front later in the day on Wednesday, really trying to get in towards the west. A little bit of brightness at times across southeastern areas. But for much of England, it should be dry through the afternoon. And perhaps temperatures a degree or so up by Wednesday with highs of 10 to 13 degrees. That weather front, we just need to keep an eye on through Thursday, weakening, but introducing perhaps a little bit of cloud and shower to the north and the west, some sunshine in London. And so far this November has been particularly mild. If you'd like some more details on that, well, why not check out the Weather, weather website where Darren, Darren Bett has got a lot more details on the weather for you. <laughs> Thanks, Nina.